Hi Yogis, welcome back to my yoga YouTube channel. Uh, today I will be doing a little bit shorter flow called Yoga Essentials. Uh, so it will be a well-rounded flow for the whole body, which you can do whenever you feel like you don't really have a lot of time and you would like to do something for the whole body. Uh, we'll be flowing through some sun salutations, warriors, other standing postures, twists, core work, back bends, really a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Whenever you are ready, just roll to your mat. I'll see you there. So let's start today in Tadasana, in standing. You can keep your feet hip distance apart. Straighten the spine, open the shoulders, palms facing forward. Close your eyes. And let's just take a few breaths here to arrive to the present moment. Maybe shift your attention to your feet. Notice if your weight is evenly distributed in your feet. Make sure you are engaging your toes as well, rooting down. And then bring attention back to your breath. You can start to engage your ujjayi breathing, slight restriction of the muscles at the back of your throat. With every inhale, take in new energy. With every exhale, just let it go. One more deep inhale. Deep exhale. And then slowly open your eyes. We will do a few sun salutations, so bring your feet together and with inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back into plank and lower down Chaturanga through your knees. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep feet hip distance apart. And you can pedal a little bit, the right leg, left leg. And releasing the backs of our legs, the calves, the hamstring. And then inhale, look forward, big step forward. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Inhale once again. Exhale. Fold forward, inhale halfway, exhale step or jump, plank and chaturanga, inhale cobra or up dog, exhale down dog. So feel free to keep doing your uh, modifications, your variations in the sun salutations with or without knees, cobra or up dog, up to you. And then look forward, inhale, step or jump, up to you. Exhale, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Once again, inhale, exhale, inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward, step or jump. Exhale, down. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale. Let's do sun salutation B. So bend your knees, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Exhale, 
Exhale, hands down, step back, vinyasa. Cobra or ab dog. And exhale, down dog. Again, feet together, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, step back, take your vinyasa. Beautiful. Once again, bring feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, big step forward. This time open warrior two. Make sure you are nice deep. You want to have pretty much almost 90 degrees angle in the right knee. Don't forget to breathe. The core is strong. And then with inhale, reverse. And exhale, extended side angle pose. You can come on the elbow or you can also come all the way down on your palm. Make sure you're opening the left side of your body up towards the sky. Continue to breathe. And then with the inhale, rise up. Straighten the right leg. Shorten the stand a little bit maybe. We'll do triangle pose, trikonasana. So with the inhale, reach forward. And with the exhale, down. You can grab your shin, your ankle, maybe have a block, or you can place the palm on the mat. And then again, opening the left side towards the sky. Make sure that you are not in a back bend. So you want to keep the ribs and navel in. The core is strong, engaged. And then inhale, rise up. Windmill the hands down, exhale. Step back to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Same on the left side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step forward. Open warrior two. So once again, you want to make sure that you are nice deep. The hips are open, parallel to the long edge of the mat. The core is strong, continue to breathe. And then with inhale, reverse. Exhale, come forward. You can be on your elbow or come all the way down onto the mat. Extended side angle pose. This time we are opening the right side of our body up towards the sky. You can even look up. Make sure that you are keeping the knee open so the knee is not falling inside. It should be straight above the heel. And then inhale, rise up. Straighten the left leg, shorten the stand a little bit. Triangle pose, inhale, reach forward, exhale, down. Once again, you can be on the shin, ankle, on a block, or on the mat, placing the palm on the mat. And this time again, opening the right side of our body, the right shoulder, up towards the sky. Nice stretch on the right side of the body, the core is engaged.
and then look down and with inhale rise up with exhale windmill the hands down step back into plank chaturanga inhale cobra or up dog exhale down dog very good with inhale again raise your right leg up big step forward this time high lunge so keeping the heel off the uh, of the mat off the floor and once again you, we don't want to have too much of a back bend so make sure you are engaging the core and you should feel nice stretch in the left hip flexors make sure you are not on a tight rope so not one leg behind the other because that's really difficult to balance you want to keep the feet hip distance just a few breaths here and then join your palms in front of your heart and let's take twists so bring in the left elbow behind the right knee and opening twist to the right side you want to really use the hands as leverage to push yourself a little bit more away from the right, uh, right leg you can always bring the left knee to the floor if that's better for you that's um, more stability or you can challenge yourself And then let's try to take big step forward. So joining the left foot with the right foot. You can take two steps if needed, or you can try one big step. <laughs> Great job. And keep twist. So we are in twisted chair. And then keep the legs in the chair and raise your torso up. Inhale, exhale, take twist to the other side. And once again, let's try in reverse order. So take off the right foot and take big step back into twisted high lunge. Great job. You can once again bring the right knee to the ground if needed, or you can challenge yourself having the knee off the ground. And then release, raise your torso up. Once again, you want to have the core strong, so not too much of a back bend, but really engage the core. And the more you engage the core, <laughs> the more you will feel the stretch in the front hip, uh, the hip flexors. And then exhale, bring hands to the ground, step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then step forward with your feet in between your hands and sit down. So we have the standing part of our sequence done. Let's do a little bit of core work, <laughs> Navasana or both pose. So you can do with hands supporting you with feet on the ground, or you can take one leg off the ground or the other leg off the ground or without the arms or even straightening the legs. <laughs> so choose whichever variation. We will do three times. <laughs> so coming to the first one, make sure that your back is straight so we don't want to have rounded back keeping opening the chest forward straightening also the lower back and breathe <laughs> and really sit down Mm. 
Great job. Let's do another one. Just a few breaths here. And release. Only one left. <laughs> we can do this. Coming to the last one. Can I have the knees bent? That's completely fine. Keep pushing the chest forward, opening the spine forward. And release. Great job. Bring your feet together into Baddha Konasana or butterfly. So with inhale, we want to prolong the spine. And with exhale, reach forward. So we don't want to just round the back and be coming down, but really going forward. And you can also push with the elbows a little bit, the knees down, but make sure that you are also engaging the glutes as you are doing it. So not only passive pushing, but also active pulling. <laughs> One more deep inhale. Deep exhale. And inhale, rise up. And straighten the legs in front of you. We'll be doing Paschimottanasana. You can always uh, sit on something if um, you have a little bit tighter hamstrings. Or you can do also not both legs at once, but always uh, one leg is bent. Uh, basically the foot to the inner thigh and doing just one at a time and then in the middle you would exchange for the other or if both legs are fine let's do that one <laughs> so with inhale straighten the spine and with exhale reaching forward whatever you can grab the shins the ankles the big toes outside of the feet or you can also use a strap and pulling on the strap Just make sure that you are pulling forward, not only down. So we don't want to have too much rounded back. You should feel it nicely in the hamstrings, in the calves. Try to keep flex on the feet. Slowly straightening the legs. And then inhale, rise up and lay down. You're almost done. We'll be just doing a um, bridge pose. So make sure that your feet are straight down be, um, below the knees. You want to have the shins in straight line. And then with inhale, raise your pelvis up. And you can come higher from shoulder to shoulder, interlacing fingers. And make sure you are not splaying the knees wide. You want to keep them parallel. And pushing the pelvis higher by engaging the hamstrings and the glutes, as well as the back muscles, of course. Few breaths here. And then release slowly. Bring your right knee to your chest, straighten the left leg, and let's take a twist. So bring in the knee to the left side, looking to the right side. exchange and then your left leg straighten the right leg and take a twist into the other side of 
forget the breeze. And then come back to middle once again. And as a final pose, we can do happy baby. <laughs> so grab the pinky edge of your feet and you want to be pushing basically the knees from the outside of your torso. So each knee from each side. The shins are basically in one straight line. You can rock a little bit from side to side and feel free to do variations with the feet. So you can also go towards straightened feet, straightened legs so that you have the V shape. Or you can also bring the feet together. Just whatever feels good. It's the final pose. And then release into Shavasana, corpse pose. So let the feet fall to the sides, palms are facing up. And just let go. You don't need to control the breathing anymore. Relax every single muscle in the body. Feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as it serves you. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.